Today is June 1st. I skipped a week because I was out of town for the uh, Memorial Day holiday. As you can see, a lot has happened. Um, the beans have gotten considerably larger, and the broccoli has also gotten considerably larger. There's an okra plant in here that uh, I'll try to zoom in on. Let's see. It looks suspiciously like a, a broccoli there, but it is an okra that I transplanted from the nursery, and it's doing okay. Um, I have had some complications, but I'll keep going over the plants here. Cucumbers uh, are doing really, really well, I think. Um, and the leeks are just so darn hard to see here. They're almost like hair thin. I don't know if they'll pick up. Let's see. It's hard to tell on my little viewfinder here what's, uh, what's going on with the leeks. But you can take my word for it that they're uh, anywhere from three quarters of an inch to about two and a half inches. So they really come up. The basil has got its secondary leaves all the way around. Um, so these plants looking pretty darn healthy and happy. And the tomatoes are quickly catching up with the transplants in the garden. So um, I'm kind of racing them. I have some transplants in the garden I'll show you in a little bit. So we're going to have a little race, see which grows faster. Um, I have had a few complications here, so I think that the, the growth of these plants might actually be somewhat stunted. I, I decided to put snails in the top tank to keep the algae down. Problem is they kept clogging up the system, so I'd come home from work and the grow beds would be dry, fish would sometimes be dead because there was no oxygen. So I lost a lot of fish. Uh, it's true, I lost a lot of fish and I, uh, I worry about some of the plants. Oh, by the way, the, uh, you can't see it at all, but the uh, chilies are finally starting to sprout a little bit. I'm just kind of sticking out their tongues now. And there's little plants in here. There's, I added some more broccoli just because things were looking kind of bad after one of the disasters I had with the snails. So I, I don't recommend snails to people unless you can really keep them out of your works because uh, if they get in there, they can mess the whole thing up if you're not around. Last night there was one that got up here into the stand tube and I came out here and there was probably about 10 gallons of water on the floor. So that was a, that was a big problem. Um, I have been to uh, the Colorado Gator Farms and I have purchased three tilapia. They're three quarters blue, one quarter Nile. That's what they think uh, do well here in Colorado. Um, and they were just extremely nice and helpful there. Uh, they charged me five dollars for the free fish and a, a big bag of feed. So I can't say enough good things about them. Um, so I think that's it for the update for June 1st. And I might one a little later, which is not fun, but uh, ho ho ho, that's cargo.